become forbidden. Hi everyone, Ed here from Shades of Vengeance, and I just wanted to show you Era Forbidden, the pocket rulebook as it is now, and then show you one of our other core rulebooks to give you an example of how Era Forbidden will look when we've finished with the core rulebook. I think it's really important that you understand what it is that we're aiming for as well as where we're at now. So this is the pocket rulebook. Um, it's not terribly long. Um, it comes to a total of, uh, of 38 pages plus another, you know, pl plus the inside covers. So I often say 40 pages. Um, it's A5 sized, uh, which is about half the size of the book that we're going to be looking at funding with this Kickstarter. You'll see here, um, there is a half page introduction and then a page on each of angels and demons. And that's actually all there is on world building. And one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to massively expand that part one section of the book. I think that's really important. We're then um, going to continue on to background. Now, a lot of this is going to stay similar. I think that these one-liners for how we're going to uh, describe the strength, intelligence, charisma, and so on, and the various skills, can actually be increased and improved as a description. You can see that this is... It does actually contain all of the rules, but it is really quite bare bones, and I'd like to do a lot more with it. Moving on to the remnants, um, these are pretty much as they are, and in fact all of these that you're seeing here will appear in the core rulebook, along with a large number of other remnants. Um, at this moment, I just wanted to take a second and show you some of the other remnants that you will find in the core rulebook, which have appeared previously in the era zone number five. This is a zine that we do. Um, we do something for all of our games. Um, every issue, and in the era zone number five, I did a large number of extra remnants, uh, eight in total. I'm aiming to do 40 in total. At the moment, we've got 20 that have ever been statted, um, including including these eight here. And um, I, I'm going to include those eight within Era Forbidden's core rulebook as long as it gets funded. I'm also going to include some more which aren't weapons. Uh, there are some which aren't weapons here, um, but there are only about five. And I'd really like to do some more armour, and I'd like to do a lot more which are utility rather than weaponry. I'm going to give a lot more space to the various items and equipment you can come across as well. The rules are going to be very similar. Um, they do make up the majority of this book, um, but I think that I can expand on a few places... And there are other places where I think a little more description is going to be really handy. Um, so having done that, we're in the GM section. Uh, all I really had space for in the GM section was some general advice. Um, some advice on how to gain experience, so how you level up in the game. And then um, a brief bestiary on six types of angels, six types of demons. And then I've got a stat block. Uh, and the character sheet makes up the, the inside back cover. So how am I going to make this different? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate using Era Lost Legend, which is my latest rulebook. Um, this is actually the printed proof of the final rulebook. It's only just come from the printer today, as a matter of fact. I've been intending to do this video for a while. So I'm going to start with a map. Much like this, I'd like to include a map in Era Forbidden. We're then going to go on to, um, obviously, the contribution list and contents, but a one-page summary that tells you everything you need to know about the world in general and what it's like to live in it. It's an expanded version of the half page that I had that I showed you a moment ago in the Pocket Edition. Into part one, um, I probably don't need a summary of the current situation in this. It'll be covered by that one-page summary um, that I have at the beginning there. Um, but what I will have is I will have details on all of the races and the factions that you'll find in the world. Let me lie this down and turn the pages a bit more easily. Um, this is where I cover the factions, and there are quite a few in Era Lost Legend. And then I go on to locations, and one of the things I love to do is make sure there's an image of each location to give you an idea of what it's like. I'm already working on defining those images for Sophia, the artist. 
Next, uh, we go on to some stories. Like with this book, I'm going to offer some images and some stories that give you an idea of what the world is like to live in. Um, that's the prologue there of the story, and then the images really begin. So we've got a lovely full page here. Um, and it'll be a variety of full page and, and uh, sort of half page images as we go through. Uh, there, is a, there is a half page image as an example. Um, we've got Sophia Michaelidou doing the images, as indeed she did for uh, the original pocket rulebook of Era Forbidden. So when we get to the end of the stories, this is more the kind of character creation that I would be expecting to deliver in the core rulebook. Obviously we don't have the different races because you only play as Forbidden in this game, but offering a large variety of possible backstories, offering some quirks that you could have, negative personality traits, offering some insight on appearance and how things might, how people might look, um, offering some, you know, more detail on the skills. You can see here, that's a lot more than the one line I was able to put aside in the A5 book. Um, the power webs are unique to uh, Era Lost Legends, so they won't exist, but a variety of other things will in their place, such as the entire list of remnants that I described earlier. As with the remnants in the pocket rulebook, my hope is to show an image of every single remnant so that you can understand what it is that you're holding and, and what you look like. That of course includes armor as well, um, which I've got here. Um, so, you know, I'll, I'll do the remnants which are armor, I'll make sure that they are displayed prominently. And moving on to the rules, uh, you can see here, we've spent a lot more time not actually saying any other rules that don't exist, but doing a lot of description on how these rules are applied in a way that doesn't really fit in the pocket rulebook. I think that this is um, a better format for the rules, and I think that it leads people through much more easily. Now, I'm going to move on to the GM section, uh, obviously with, with full page flowcharts uh, to make sure that you're able to follow. I'm going to move on to the GM section. And in the GM section, we are going to have a general advice um, built up over, over the year of running this game and, and, and making it something that people are able to play. But I'm going to do the bestiary in this format instead of the, uh, the current format. It includes an image, a description of the monster and the way they behave, and then the actual stats in a minified character sheet. I believe that this is a much better method of doing a bestiary than what I had space for in the pocket rulebook. Um, these are all the very small creatures um, within within Era Lost Legends. So as you get larger, uh, they take up more of the space in the book. I am currently undecided whether I'm going to do these to scale or not. When I, uh, as I did in Era Lost Legend, I may just do them and, and describe their size differently. So then we have a whole load of suggested sessions and campaigns. And I'm actually going to go one step further than this next time. I'm just going to flick forward a couple of pages. For the first session, in order to help GMs who are new to the system and new to the game, I'm actually going to lay it out similar to this worked example here, where I go through every role and how I might expect it to go and what I might expect people to see, so that you have a detailed description of how this game is played that you can follow through if you choose. And it's not that it's difficult, but there are sometimes things that don't seem immediately obvious until you actually play. Following up, we've got an appendix that offers example fumble outcomes. They're always a lot of fun. Um, larceny, example fumble. Accidentally leave something of yours in someone's pocket while you're picking it. Um, example playable characters. Uh, in this case, it's the, uh, it's the same minified character sheets and then some specifics for Era Lost Legend. Um, and then we've got an index, and I always index my core rulebooks, I think it's really important. Uh, followed by the backers who backed Era Lost Legends, so thank you very much to all of them who made that dream a reality. A glossary, just to make sure that everyone is aware of all the various terms. And then finally, the, uh, the character sheet for the game, and in this case there are two, uh, because of Era Lost Legend. So, 
This is Era Lost Legend. It's not Era Forbidden, but it is a model of the kind of core rulebook that I like to produce. And I believe that you can expect something along these lines with this level of polish, this level of thought put into it, and what's actually present within the book. So this video was for Era Forbidden, uh, which is on Kickstarter now. We are trying to build an amazing world, and this is one of my genuine favourite worlds to run a game in. So if you're interested in what you've seen, or if you have any questions, please let us know in the comments, or hop over to the Kickstarter, the link is in the description, and I'll be happy to answer any questions for you.